You've probably heard of R2R DAX, known for their detail, texture and musicality, but did you know some high-end preamps use the exact same resistor ladder concept for volume control? The Denafrips Hades 12 preamp does exactly that, and it might just outperform traditional potentiometers in every single way. Please leave a like and let's get to it. At a little over $1300, the Denafrips Hades 12 might not be the most expensive preamp out there, but when you open it, it exactly feels like it is. True to Denafrips' reputation for over-engineering, this is a serious piece of gear in both design and execution. The entire chassis is carved out of thick, precision machined aluminum. It feels solid dense and completely free of flex. The brushed finish has a fine texture that resists fingerprints and looks every bit as premium as higher priced alternatives. No unnecessary decoration here, just clean lines with perfect symmetry. The input and volume knobs have a matching weight and resistance to them. They don't just turn, they glide with a soft tactile click at every step. It isn't just satisfying, it relates to the 60-step relay-based volume control. It makes you fully aware of the volume being changed. Instead of the usual 4 feet, Denafrips went with 3. While I don't love that approach, it has quite a few advantages. 3 feet mean no wobble, even on slightly uneven surfaces. It also gives the unit a bit of isolation and mechanical grounding that's more stable than you would expect. The whole thing sits firmly wherever you place it, and at 9 kilograms, it's not going to shift around easily. Up front, you'll find a compact, digital display that shows you your current volume and input. You can control its brightness to make it visible across the room, but not so bright that it's distracting. And then there is the remote which isn't an afterthought. It's solid aluminum, matching the look and feel of the Hades itself. It's a minimalist unit, but it doesn't sacrifice practicality. On the input side, it offers two fully balanced XLR inputs and one single-ended RCA input. The XLR inputs are ideal for modern DACs and balanced sources, offering better common mode rejection and lower noise. And that's especially in systems with long cable runs or in electrically noisy environments. The RCA input adds flexibility, making it easy to integrate legacy gear or components without a balanced output. On the output side, both XLR and RCA connections are provided. These are always active, meaning you can fit two different amplifiers switch between systems, or test gear without swapping cables. All connections are solid, tight-fitting and built to last. You can subscribe to my channel if you're still watching. The most important part of the Hades is a relay-controlled stepped attenuator, a sophisticated, resistor-based volume control derived from Denafrips' r 2 duck experience. Instead of relying on a traditional potentiometer, this design switches between 60 discrete resistors using relays. The result? Accurate volume control, perfect channel balance and no signal degradation. It brings real sonic benefits, clarity, precision and low-level detail retrieval at any listening level. The tactile clicks you hear when adjusting volume are relays engaging because each step is physically switching a resistor in the signal path. Power delivery is another area where Denafrips goes above and beyond. Denafrips uses a large ATVA O-core transformer. There is also a strategic decision to avoid gain. The Hades operates at unity gain, meaning it doesn't amplify the signal. It simply passes it along cleanly and transparently. It ensures compatibility with a wider range of amplifiers and source components without the risk of clipping. 
It also minimizes the risk of tonal coloration. But at the same time, you might need to crank up the volume more than you expect on some lower gain amps. The Nafrips Hades is a pure class A, fully discrete, true balanced preamp. That means there are no op amps, no chips, and no shortcuts in the signal path. Just carefully matched components operating in a linear, low distortion fashion. The internal volume control uses high precision through hole resistors, offering an ultra low distortion of just 0.00045%, even at high volumes. That's an extremely low distortion figure and it contributes to the clean, uncolored sound. The signal-to-noise ratio sits at an impressive 122 dB, which means background hiss and noise are practically non-existent. You will notice how quiet your system becomes between notes, an often overlooked but highly revealing trait. Output impedance is 200 ohms for the RCA and 400 ohms for the XLR. It doesn't matter whether your amp is solid state or tube, sensitive or power hungry, the Hades will drive it. With a frequency response of 10 Hz to 85 kHz, the Hades comfortably exceeds the range of human hearing. Power consumption is modest, 1 watt at idle and 25 watts during operation, which is quite efficient for a class A design. If you think preamps are supposed to be invisible, the Denafrips Hades will have you rethinking that. Not because it colors the sound, it doesn't, but because its presence is felt in how it refines and elevates the entire listening experience. Spatial cues, image stability, dynamic energy and tonal clarity. The Hades has a way of pulling you into the music without ever trying to impress. One of the most standout qualities here is the sense of space. It's not just wide stereo separation, it's about the depth, the layering, the precise placement of the instruments. You get a clear sense of front to back positioning with dimensionality. The imaging is laser sharp without feeling forced and the stage extends well beyond the speakers without ever becoming diffuse or vague. There is also an unmistakable black background at play here. Quiet passages feel intimate and controlled, but explosive moments land with surprising impact. The Hades walks a smart line between neutrality and listenability. It's not warm, but it's not cold either. It offers a flat and honest frequency response but there is a faint touch of smoothness in the treble that keeps things from sounding clinical. There is no mid-range coloration, no softened bass and no overly romantic presentation, just clarity and balance. What's your take on the tonality? Do you prefer flat or colored sounding gear? Let me know in the comments down below. Dynamics are another area where this preamp subtly excels. It doesn't shout, but it does hit, and hits hard when needed. Macrodynamics feel alive and uncompressed, while microdynamics come through with fluidity and resolution. Across all genres, the Hades consistently managed to get out of the way and let the music come through. But when it comes to sound staging, depth and dynamic ease, it does more than simply step aside. It gives everything just a little more room to breathe.